it's nearly two o'clock on uh, Thursday, and two o'clock Tuesday we met at Heathrow, didn't we? And we're now sitting just by Manchester Airport. Uh, 48 hours that feels like it's been 48 days. And uh, I'm disappearing on a fortnight's holiday tomorrow morning. You're going off to London for some more meetings. How do you feel about the last two days? Fantastic. Energizing. I think we're going to get there. And what are the highlights for you? The team. Building our team, really. Meeting all the people I only met on email. Yeah. So it's been fantastic. How do you feel? We started the conversation in uh, September serious conversation in September about collaborating and here we are on the 24th of January uh, and we, it, it feels a little bit as if we're holding a tiger by the tail at the moment because we're moving forward on so many fronts so quickly. Um, one of my core values um, is to work hard and have a huge amount of fun at the same time. Everybody has a lousy day, of course you do, and everybody has challenges, but I, hand on heart, I don't believe I've had this much fun for decades, let alone years. And uh, it's interesting in, a, in an industry, and in a profession, and in a, an economy where so many people are talking about what's wrong. Uh, we just seem to be in a conversation about what's right and what we can do, not what we can't do, uh, and the difference that we can make. And uh, I'm, I'm just enjoying that immensely. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm uh, having a ball too. What's it been like um, dealing with Brits? Because you're, you're, you're originally South African. You've spent, I think, most of your adult life in Eastern Canada. Is that yes. right? All of a sudden, we've exposed you to this British uh, tribe of dentists and support people. Any observations on how that's been? I love the Brits because they're pessimists and I'm an optimist <laughs> and I want to prove them wrong <laughs> and that's one of the great things about this because people are now saying I'm blaming you and I'm going why because I didn't sleep last night I woke up at 3.30 I said but you woke up because you woke up because you're having fun your brain's on fire yeah. and where you were pessimistic a week ago all of a sudden a new light's gone off and you're like you're energized. Okay, now listen, we are both um, great admirers of Dan Sullivan and Strategic Coach. Yes. And we know that one of the main things about Strategic Coach is free focus and buffer days. Yes. You're a workaholic. You never stop. Yes. You, you send me emails on a Sunday. You send me text messages on a Sunday. I reply to them because, frankly, I'm a workaholic as well. Um, how do you reconcile that with what it is that Sullivan talks about in terms of how you manage your time? Well, three days are just do whatever you want to do, but really it's based on the fact that you hate work. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Because on a free day, you have to disallow yourself from thinking about work at all. Like one of the things that's, I have this little funny thing about you and your vacation, you're looking so forward to it. Actually, in my life, when I go on vacation, my day, my enjoyment, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. I don't have a spike mm -hmm. because my day at work is as much fun as my day on vacation. So I don't do free days, I don't do buffer days, I don't do focus days. It's all the focus. So you're a lifeaholic, aren't you? That's it. Yeah. And the trouble is I think that you are beginning to make me the same. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Welcome. Planet Al, <laughs> population two. <laughs> yeah. That's Should we wrap it. that? Yeah.